Today I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a Comic Hero Thread Out Shutdown Fight, bring you comics news, and reveal the books I bought this week. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching the Comic Hero Show. Now kick that intro! Fantastic Four number 52 back in 1966. It was created by Stanley and Jack Kirby. And I want to honor just about all the superheroes that I can in this summer of superheroes who have anniversaries this year. I want to go ahead and get, get them out of the way. And, and another reason is because this weekend is Juneteenth. Now Juneteenth is when we acknowledge the, uh, the end of slavery. And um, there are a lot of Juneteenth celebrations going on uh, throughout the country. And also... Um, the President of the United States is about to sign a document that makes Juneteenth an annual holiday, and um, and not just in um, and not just in certain states, but every state throughout the country. And this is this is I tell you, this has been a long time coming, and um, I know there are going to be a lot of a, a great and wonderful celebrations throughout the country. And um, speaking of Juneteenth, I have an announcement at the end of the show that. Um, that y'all are really going to enjoy. But for right now, it's time to give away a free t-shirt. All right, on last week's episode of the show, I asked, in the pages of Wonder Woman, what relation is Nubia to Diana? Well, the correct answer is twin sister. And nine people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, their name's been entered in the drawing for a free t-shirt. And that drawing takes place right now. So the winner of the free team for this week's episode of the show is Sydney Walton from Brahmin, Oklahoma. So congratulations, Sydney. We we'll have a free comic girl team. All right, here's the question for next week's episode, and this is a Black Panther question. Black Panther has a sister. What is her name? Now here are two hints. The first hint is that. She took up the mantle of the Black Panther after T'Challa had uh, temporarily moved to, to New York. Then the second hint, this character was in the movies Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame, and is played by Letitia Wright. Everyone who answers correctly will be in the drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. Now, the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown segment is uh, reserved for fans to make requests. But every once in a while, I like to come up with one, and this one features one heck of a detective going up against uh, one of the smartest men in the Marvel Universe, and they're both very stretchy. Representing DC, we have the Elongated Man. And representing Marvel, we have Mr. Fantastic. These two are going to duke it out in a segment I like to call... The Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's Elongated Man versus Mr. Fantastic. Elongated Man possesses superior deductive reasoning, affinity ability to shape his body, elasticity, enhanced agility, and all factory sense, greatly enhanced durability, and is a talented chemist. Mr. Fantastic possesses genius level intellect extreme superhuman elasticity, malleability, and durability. He also possesses resistance to most physical assaults and immunity to electricity and limited shape-shifting. 
Who will win? Besides their abilities, these two have another thing in common. The only hand-to-hand -hand combat they know is punching. Period. It's a no-brainer that there's going to be a whole lot of stretching going on in this fight. These two will mirror the famous fight between Optimus Prime and Megatron by shaping their arms into a mace and an axe. These two will clobber each other back and forth. After minutes of doing this, the two will start punching each other while twisting each other's torso around one another. Realizing this isn't going to help much, a long gated man sets his sights on a Transformer only 50 yards away from them. He Gino throws Mr. Fantastic towards the Transformer. Instead of being electrocuted because he's immune to electricity, the latter absorbs the electricity and fires it back at a long gated man, electrocuting him in the process. Mr. Fantastic wins, and that concludes this fight on the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed that fight. If uh, y'all have any requests y'all want to make, go ahead and make them. You can do so uh, directly here on YouTube. You could, uh, if you're watching this from a, a social media platform or any social media site, go ahead and do so. And, and even if you're watching this on my website, IamTheComicHero.com, make your request. I, you know, your, your request or any other input that you have on the show never falls upon deaf ears for me. Now it's time for Comically Speaking, so without further ado, let's talk comics! Alright, there are two things we're going to talk about in this segment of Comically Speaking, and here's the first. Uh, it's been revealed that DC is going to come out with a new Static series called Static Season 1. And it's going to be written by Vita Ayala with art by... Um, uh, by Nicholas Draper Ivy and Criss Cross. Now, I don't know that much about Nicholas Draper Ivy, but I can tell you that I that Vita Ayala is um, about to come off of writing an X-Men book called Children of the Atom. And, uh, I, and in the first few issues that I've read, uh, I really enjoy the writing. And um, Criss Cross has, is a... And I'm not talking... And by the way, I'm not talking about the, um, the rap group. That's another Criss Cross. Um, but Criss Cross is, um, he's penciled books like Justice League, Firestorm, and then a Captain Marvel series from the late 90s when Rick Jones took up the mantle. I uh, really love his artwork and I can't wait to, uh, see what the, his, his, it, uh, what he, what he's going to do with, um, with Static. Of course, Static's real name is Virgil Hawkins and the character, um, when he made his milestone, um, uh, his debut in Milestone Media back in 93 was originally created by Dennis Cowan, Michael Davis, Derek T. Dingle, and the late great Dwayne McDuffie. Um, his or now they're going to retell his origin, but the way that his origin was originally told was that he ended up getting powers after a bizarre food poisoning while eating lunch in, the, in the, his high school cafeteria. Uh, this one has to do with him being at, at a peaceful protest. Um, he ends up, everyone there ends up being, um, ends up getting a whip of, of it's an experimental tear gas that was, that was shot by police officers that were trying to stop the protest. Now, while it kills or either renders a lot of, a lot of other folks unconscious, Virgil ends up getting superpowers as a result. So, um, I mean, that's a very interesting story and it's a really great modern spin on on static and I can't wait for it to come out it, it comes out next month and you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to read alright now the second thing is that there's a that for the first time ever and I mean ever there's going to be a brand new Aquaman and it's uh, part of a mini of a, a six issue series called Aquaman the Becoming and you're probably wondering who's going to be Aquaman and what happens to Arthur Curry um, I don't know exactly what happens to Arthur, but I can tell you who the um, the, the new Aquaman is going to be. It's going to be Jackson Hyde, who currently goes by Aqualad. Now, um, Aqua. Now the the miniseries is going to be written by Brandon Thomas, with art by Diego Allertagi and Wade von Braunbadger. Now, von Braunbadger is a uh, um, 
you know, staying power. He's 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 been in a comics inker for a very long time, and he's gonna ink the the pencils of Diego Olertegui. Um, it took me a long time to uh, pronounce that. But um, if you're watching, uh, uh, Diego, if you're watching this, charge it to my head, not to my heart. Um, now, um, again, he's currently Aqualad, and um, it's unclear whether he made his debut in, um, well, in the comics, he made his debut in uh, Brightest Day number four. But it's also been said that he originally was a creation for the Young Justice TV series. Um, uh, I mean, I've been trying to figure out uh, where, when. I mean, I read reports that that he that um, he was actually created for Young Justice first, and then made his transition to the comics. Then I read that he was created. Uh, he he originally made his debut in Brian's Day number four just before he debuted on in, in, on the Young Justice uh, TV series. Um, that's like asking what came first, the chicken or the egg. But anyway, um, I, let me give you a, um, a brief description on Jackson Hyde. Now, he's half um, he's half Zebelian and half human. Now, his mother is from Zebel. Now, Zebel is the underwater kingdom adjacent to Atlantis. And it's also where Aquaman's wife Mira is from. And, and his mother is name is Lucius Hyde, and then his and then his father, who's human, ha happens to be none other than Aquaman's arch nemesis, the Black Manta. Um, but he's allied to good, and he's not going to um, side with his father ever. And um, because he's he's half Zebelian, he also possesses hydrokinesis or. Uh, a telepathic control of water just like Mira does and also um, he is the most pop popular openly gay superhero in DC right now so you know it, oh he oh by the way he may be um, half half Zebelian and half human but he's also black so a black Aquaman I mean come on we've have a we've had a, a white Aquaman we've had a, a half Samoan half white Aquaman you know, with Jason Momoa playing him on a big screen, and now we finally get a black Aquaman. I mean, I mean, the stuff that DC is doing right now. I mean, I'm totally on board with uh, with this miniseries, and I can't wait for it to come out. But Aquaman: um, The Becoming comes out in September. All right, that's it for Complete Speaking. Let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. <laughs> Alright, first up is the Amazing Spider-Man number 68. Children of the Atom number 4. Detector Comics number 1037. Excalibur number 21. Far Sector number 12. Final issue. Heroes Reborn number six. Iron Man number nine. Joker number four. Really excited about this book. Robin number one. Hawkeye number 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 117. Wonder Woman number 773. And finally, X Men number 21. All right, that's 12, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 10,655. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this week's episode. And here's a question again for a free tea for next week's episode of the show. The Black Panther has a sister. What is her name? Now, here are the hints again. This character took up the mail of Black Panther temporarily when T'Challa temporarily relocated to New York. Alright, here's the second hint. This character has appeared in movies like Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame, and is played by Letitia Wright. Everyone who answers correctly will be entering a drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. And congratulations to Sydney Walton from Brahmin, Oklahoma, who won a free tea on this week's episode. All right, here's the road ahead for the show. Now, next week's episode, episode 360, we're going to show some love to the Merc with a Mouth, Deadpool. Now, this year marks the 30th anniversary of the character. And um, I'm going to wear a, a Deadpool comic hero tee. And, um, yeah. All right, on then the episode after that, after that episode 361, I'm going to show some love to the Captain to Captain America. Now, Captain America made his debut 80 years ago this year. And um, that's one reason I'm doing it. Another reason I'm doing it is because the 4th of July occurs right after I do that episode. And then also to celebrate the upcoming miniseries entitled The United States of Captain America. And let me tell you, um, from some of the previews that I've read, it's going to be epic. And I can't wait to read it. All right, now here's the um, the announcement that I wanted that I wanted to make. Um, now, on this episode, I you know I decided to wear a Black Panther comic girl tee, but you know to because I wanted to do something to like uh, you know because it's the character's 55th anniversary, and because I wanted to do something to uh, you know to, cel to celebrate Juneteenth, but something told me a few days ago to. Um, celebrate Juneteenth but to acknowledge Juneteenth the way the best way I know how so I'm going so I'm going to do a comic hero show extra this weekend and I'm going to wear a Juneteenth comic hero tee and I'm going to feature one book and that book is Milestone Returns it's a one shot by DC it's going to feature every character that was in the Milestone universe back in its humble beginnings in 1993 and all of them including Static who I talked about in the comically speaking segment are all making comebacks now, and then earlier today, something told me um, to do something else, and I and so I'm not going to be the only one that's going to be in possession of a copy of Milestone Returns. I am giving away three copies of Milestone Returns to three people. Now, um, the way here's how I'm going to do it. Now, it's going to be different depending on um okay now here on youtube right after i do the uh, birthday segment i'm going to post a picture of the cover of milestone returns now after you have watched this episode once you see it go ahead and leave a very positive comment now for everyone watching this on um on igtv or instagram I want you to do the same, to leave a very positive comment saying that you saw it. Now, for everyone that's watching this uh, from social media platforms, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Tumblr, um, your job, now I'm going to post a picture of the cover on those sites. Your job is to like the, the picture of the, the cover. Everyone who does 
get their name entered in the drawing, and I'm drawing three names. And that's all going to take place on Saturday. So I know it's a little short notice, uh, but this idea, this idea just came to me. So y'all go ahead and, and, and do that. I mean, I, I really, I, I think, you know, this is going to be a, a groundbreaking uh, one shot by DC. I mean, DC has really come up with a lot of great, a lot of great things. And I want to go ahead and, and do this as well. So, um, I mean, I mean, I, I think, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'm very, I, I'm very excited about doing this. I mean, y'all have no idea. And um, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. And I know good, I know for a fact that y'all are going to enjoy uh, the Comic Girl Show Extra this weekend. So stay tuned. All right, I'm Victor Nolly on a Comic Hero. I'll see you this weekend for a Comic Hero Show Extra celebrating Juneteenth. And I'll see you next week for episode 360. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero, and Wakanda forever!